Hi guys, have you ever wondered why do you look like your parents? Our genetic information is passed down from parents to us through the DNA molecule. So, how can the DNA store our genetic information? DNA is found in the nucleus of cells in multicellular organisms and was first isolated in 1869. The double helix model of DNA consists of two intertwined strands. These strands are made up of nucleotides, which themselves consist of three component parts, a sugar group, a phosphate group, and a base. There are four different bases found in the DNA molecule, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, given the designations A, T, G, and C. DNA encodes information through the sequence of the bases that spells out biological messages in the chemical structure of the DNA. Hello student, so today we are going to study the DNA structure by making an origami of the DNA. Firstly, you need to lay out the printed DNA origami template and write the DNA code in the first right corner. You can con you can continue your sequence down the column on the right. You can write any sequence consisting of letter A, T, C, and G. Then, write the complementary letter in the box diagonally across from the sequence. Continue the complementary sequence until the bottom and fill the top box here with any letter. Then you can assign a color for each of the letter. For example, yellow for letter A, blue for letter T, red for letter G, and green for letter C. Color all the code in the template and you will get something like this. Then, we are ready to fold our DNA structure. Firstly, hold the template, fold the template in half. Press down the crease to make sure they are firm. Then, hold the paper so that the thick line are diagonal and the thin line are horizontal. Then, fold the top segment and unfold. Fold and unfold. Fold the top two segments and unfold. Now you can repeat for all the segments. Fold until all are completed. Then, turn the paper over and fold along the first diagonal line. Unfold and fold along the second diagonal line. Repeat for all diagonal line until finish. Then, fold the white edge without the letter up. Repeat for the other edge. And partially unfold both of the edges.
Now you should get something like this. So now you are ready to twist and turn the paper. So twist and turn the paper while pushing towards the end, towards each other. Push towards each other and let go. The DNA double helix structure is now completed.